Get up on our feet and praise his name. Hallelujah. He's the reason, King. Our God is reason. Come on. Let's clap our hands tonight. Oh, breaks the power of sin and deadness Whose love is mighty and so much stronger The King of glory, the King of our King Who oh, shakes the whole world with all it matters And makes us breathless in awe and wonder The King of glory, the King of our King this is amazing grace. This is unfailing love. God, you will take my place. God, you will pay my cross. You lay down your life. That I will be set free. Oh, Jesus, I sing for. All that you done for me. Come on, everybody. Hoping for chaos, back into order. Home makes the open, a son and daughter, the king of glory. The King of our King Horrors the nations In truth and justice Shine like the The Lord is brilliant The King of glory The King of our King This is amazing grace This is amazing grace This is amazing love God you will pay my God you God, you will pay my bill. God, you will pay my bill. To lay down your life. To lay down your life. God, I will be set free. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, that you died for me. This is amazing grace. This is a daily life. God, you will take my place. God, you will bear my cross. You lay down your life. God, I will be set free. Oh, oh. That's a simple, all that you've done. 
What is the king who conquered the grave? What is the lamb who was slain? What is the king who conquered the grave? What is, what is the lamb who was slain? What is the king? What is the lamb? What is the king? What is the love? What is the king? What is the love? What is the What is the This is amazing grace. This is a family love. God, you will take my place. God, you will pay my cross. You lay down your life. God, I will be set free. Oh, Jesus, I sing for all that you've done for me. Hallelujah. Aren't you supposed to be happy and grateful that Jesus is risen from the dead? Come on, just say hallelujah. Bless you, Jesus. I hear the Savior say, Thus reign.
Amen. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah, I'm good. Praise God, brethren. Jesus can heal each and every disease. Jesus can make the lame walk. Jesus raised the dead. And right about now, today, we have a powerful testimony from our very own brother, Sean. He prays with us here at the worship house. So how are you, Sean? I'm good. How are you? Yes, you have a testimony, a powerful testimony that yes. is going to bless these people. You yes. can share with us. Yes. The testimony is about my brother. My brother stays in Burundi and I stay in Kampala. Because all my family is in the other side, for me, I'm on this side. So my brother got an accident, and the accident was that bad that the leg was smashed to the point that there was no way the guy can get healed unless they cut the leg. Yeah. But seriously, what God has done, that's what brought me here to testify and to shame the devil that God is powerful than the devil himself. <laughs> yeah. So. The guy got an accident and he was in a hospital and all the families stood saying like, let them cut the leg because there was no way he can get healed. Because you're saying when they don't cut the leg, he was going to get cancer. Yeah, he was going to get cancer and because the leg was rotten and the maggots was in the, that part of the leg. But in the, that time there, because the, the guy spent a long time in the hospital, almost like, like a year. I kept coming at church praying for, for him. Then that day I came to church, pastor said, you can touch where you feel the pain, and we pray. Then I, I believed my brother, I touched my, my leg. I, pray, I prayed that day, then I went back home. But you know, as the situation was too bad, I had no, no much faith that the guy could be okay. You know? Then one day I was there, they called me like, you know, the hospital, the big hospital, which, uh, which is, uh, deals with the bone stuff, they said that there's no way you can treat him, they just cut the leg. Then, that day I came to church, it was on a Sunday. I sat there, the pastor was praising. Then, that, in that praise, I felt like uh, I'm touched. Eh? So, pastor said, touch where you feel the pain, I touched the leg. Then, after touching the leg, I felt like uh, um, there's something which is, eh, which is done, you know. So you're saying every time that pastor said, touch where you feel the pain, you used to do that? Yeah, every, every time pastor could say that, he could do the same thing, yeah. touch my leg, and I believe, and I raise my faith, and I go back home. So after one year, what happened? Yeah, after one year, I came back to church, then they, they, they made the, 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 that very prayer on touching the leg, I touched the leg, then I went back home, but yeah, the, time, the time I went back home, I, I was... I was like convinced that the guy will be okay. I was convinced. I had like conviction in me like the guy will move. So I called even him on phone that, that day. I told him, David, you know, for me, I believe in God that he will be okay. So the whole family raised against that. They were like, no, there's no way they can treat him for a full year. Let them just cut the leg. Then he goes away. I was like, no, the guy will be okay. So after that, I had to go to Burundi myself to, to, to see him physically. I went there, by then I found him walking on scratch. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So from there, seriously, I was like, ah! Seriously, we are from the, the place where the, the leg was rotten, and now he's moving you know, on scratch. Amen. Then where we are heading, it is a, 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 a little bit better. I kept praying on it for him. I kept raising my faith for, for him. And then I came back in, in Uganda. Then the last day I came to, to church, then pastor said the same thing. Touch where you are feeling the pain. I touched my leg. I prayed, I prayed, I prayed. Now 2022, the guy is moving. Amen. He's wearing shoes. He can even move. He can even play football. You <laughs> can't imagine. So this, see that this guy is very great. Omwami ono Sean, ya ina muganda wengalibu rundi na afna accident. Okugulu okwa left ne kumemen tukako na kona. Nga kuva muemvu nyu, nga itisobolo okuyamba kukute mako ale mefu na kansa. Nena asigalanga kiliza, na asigalanga kiliza okusinga wa familia kwa nga wana baliba gambo gulu wa kutemeko. Necha amuzanga mwama njibule janga okusaba, pasta ugeme nga gamba, tikuwa ata wawulia wakolachi awakuluma. Mukama agenda kuonya. Na kwa tanga ofo on behalf of his brother, kura muganda we. Na ya gambi agenda okudayo after one year. Mwamaka kwa COVID guma zo kugwa ko. Nga muganda we atambuli la kumiti. Bana ngecho chamanyi nyotwe baza mukama. Era gambi enti. Nga umuli dembu juli zinti. Mu 2022 muganda wa atambula bulunji. Norecho kiliza na umukama. Subolo kuwa kocha kolera. 
Amen. We thank you, Sean. Amen. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you for this testimony. You say hi to David. Yeah, we, yeah, we do that. Hello Saints, welcome. This is the Worship House. We're very happy to know that you're here with us today. We want to thank you all, our friends who are in Qatar, Dubai, uh, Canada, France, and all over the world, you're streaming live. You're very much welcome. Happy Easter. Today is the day that the Lord, our, our Lord, our Savior, resurrected. Era, today expect prisons to break, expect graves to open. We cannot even begin to thank him enough, okay? I want to welcome somebody here who is here for the very first time. Even you who is online and you're streaming, please just raise your hand. And get to know you and get to uh, acquaint you with the things of the worship house. If you're here, please just shoot up your hands. If you're not scared, if you're not scared, but you're very much welcome. If you don't have a place where you call church, please, when you go back, tell them that we love them and we look forward to seeing them as well. Otherwise, make this church your church. Okay? Also, allow me. Welcome somebody. Ngato wanga yobula mbwedi Christo. You have never gotten saved in Kiswahili what they call kuokoka. So if you're here, you've never given your life to Christ. I would like for you to join me in prayer. Just close your eyes wherever you are. Even you who is streaming live. Ngato wanga yobula mbwedi Christo. You've never gotten saved. Just close your eyes. Place your right hand on your chest and the left hand. Raise it up and let's pray together. Say, dear Lord. Father, I acknowledge that I'm a sinner. I ask that you forgive me. I pray that you come into my life today and make me a new thing. Today, I confess with my mouth and believe with my heart that you died and rose again on the third day that I could have a life eternity. Today, I say that I am saved. I ask that you write my name in the book of life and as I await for your second coming that I will have and see you in glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Friends, if you mentioned that prayer for the very first time, consider yourself saved. <laughs> is the best thing that can happen to anyone out there. So welcome. If you don't have a church where you go to, make this one your church, okay? Otherwise, find you a Bible-based church where you can be taught about the things of the Lord, okay? We have announcements from the marriage department. We have marriage bands, people who are intending to get married. We have Arnold Elvis Abitegeka of the Code YNT here at the Worship House. Together with Jonat, Janet Cholava, Nachiranda of Watoto Church Choir, they'll be wedding on Saturday, 23rd April 2022 at 10 a.m. here at the Worship House. Now, this is their last announcement. Secondly, we have Tenua Constantine of Redemption Center of Worship Kawempe. Together with Natukunda Janet of Prayer Palace Lugova, will be wedding on Saturday, the 30th of April 2022 at 10 a.m. here at the worship house. This is their first announcement. Therefore, if you're out there and you have any reasons whatsoever why these people should not be joined in holy matrimony, please come forth, speak to our pastors, or forever hold your peace. They also announce that the marriage department is inviting all marrieds to their monthly fellowship on Friday, the 29th of April, here at the worship house at 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Please endeavor to be there. The topic of discussion this time around is financial integrity in marriage of families. Plan to be there or mark your calendar. Now let's get ready to give into the house of the Lord. 
We know that here at the worship house, giving time is receiving time. worship house, and then before we pray and offer our offertories and our tithes unto the Lord, let's turn to the Connect Center and hear from Claire. This is what we have for you at the Connect Center. On a side note, to really send our condolences to the family of Osinachi Nwachuku, a gospel artist from Nigeria who was murdered by her husband. Very, very sad and uh, may her soul rest in peace. And we condemn domestic violence. Okurana maka tuino chumanyanti katunda tacha gala. So let us pray for each other and pray for families. We are going to have a worship evening at Palm Paradise Garden in Tinda. Tina ye katunda wabana kwa kola. Katunda wabana kwa kola. Oh, tunda wabana kwa kola. Okumanya kola tuwele yechu watule. Abantu we Nigeria, Kungu, Chisasi, Namugongo, Chambogo Kwa University, Chireka, Boyo Gerele, Chira, Weya, Kamocha, Bulimuntu, Aulide Chirango Chino. Leta mkwano go echi watule Kupam Paradise Gardens, located near Snabero Supermarket, Chiwatule. Entry is free, 7 p.m. all the way to midnight. An evening of worship at Palm Paradise Gardens. The Lord told me to invite you. I'm going to be there. It's me organizing it. Please come, let us worship the Lord. 22nd April, mark the date. Palm Paradise Gardens, near Snabero Supermarket, Chihuahua. And also remember, we have a prayer wave that is happening. On Wednesday, we'll be at Busavala. Thursday, we are here at the worship house. And Friday, we are at Tintinda. Don't miss out in this prayer wave. Did you know Teen Service is back with a new name, Teen Squad? All teenagers in the holidays, you're all welcome for the Teen Service here at the Worship House, starting from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. And not forgetting Youth Code, same day, that will be from 4 to 6 p.m. Especially in these holidays. Thank you very much. I'm Claire Najita and back to you, Alan. Thank you so much, Claire, for the announcements. Now let's get ready, the rest of us. If you need to give in your tithes, please raise your hand. Wanika kwa mkonogwa, ba ashas, ba sovolo kujamangu mango, ba kweleze envelope weti, otekemu echimucho echekumi. Even you who is giving a regular offering, get hold of it and, uh, and stand up. Let's pray together when you're ready. Bobango, Limkua, your envelope, take a muboti, Boboli Redis to Kakomangu Mangu, Sobole, Oksava, Wamu, to Edizem Kama, a way we are of When we are ready, let's pray. Father, we pray, Father, for the men and women that are standing before you. Thank you so much for the gift of life. Thank you for the gift of Easter. That they are here to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for dying for us. In their hands is an offering, others are holding a tithe. Father, for the tithe. Thank you, Father, that they've obeyed your word to bring a tenth back into your house so that your house or your storehouse will not lack food, Father. I pray a blessing for them. I pray, O oh Lord, that you will fill their storehouses, open the floodgates of heaven, and let it rain blessings in their home. And even now, as the children are at home, we ask for safety in each and every kind of way. We pray this, believing in your son's name, Jesus. Amen. If you'd like to be a part of what God is doing here at the worship house, this is how to give. For MTN Mobile Money, the number is 0776-122-122. It's in the name of Wilson Bugembe. And if you'd like to use the merchant code for MTN, it is star 165 star 3 star 316523 star. Enter the amount and then hash. For Airtel Money, the number is 0758-973-009. It's in the name of Wilson Bugembe. Airtel merchant code users, you dial star 185 star 9 star 116 2616 star. You enter the amount and then hash. If you'd like to do a direct bank transfer, we have an account in Diamond Trust Bank. It's in the name of the worship house. Uh, the account number is 015-106-2001. For Opportunity Bank, the account number is 120-391-707111. One, one. It's also in the name of the worship house. 
Thank you and God bless you.
Christ is a prison breaker. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 27 verses 52 53, even the graves were opened. The graves of the saints. May the Lord open every grave alcohol that is swallowing you, you know, fornication, you know, disease, cancer, HIV. We speak and we unbury. Whoever was excited to bury you, Easter means your grave is opening and your prison is breaking. Jesus Christ is a prison breaker. The Bible says in the book of 1 Peter, chapter, chapter 3 and verses 19, the Bible says, Jesus Christ, when he was in the grave, he went and preached to the spirits in prison who formerly did not obey when God's patience waited in the days of Noah during the building of the ark, in which just eight people were saved through water. But Jesus Christ opened their graves under the grave. May the Lord God help you to put faith in him. And this Easter, your grave is opening and your prison is breaking. Who remembers Michael Scofield and uh, T-Bag in prison break? That movie was tense, but Jesus Christ broke out of the most dangerous prison. First of all, he was dead. They put a rock on him. Even in his death, he was scaring his enemies. They put soldiers on him, but he still came out. If he came out, you are coming out. Happy Easter. Ya zukira mubafu ngaba wangu te abala bebe ya mamu ma gombe no buangu si na bero mu la mu mi everybody service please tell your neighbor you're looking good on this Easter I like your hair I like your vagina I see I like your shoe whatever neighbor out is even to kusaga kona we manyamuzivu choose a chifu come on everybody clap your hands to Jesus Christ before I forget I would like to tell you uh, a moti Mubalanguzi visited the worship house and he asked me to play this video for you all. I promised him to play this video for you all. Uh -huh. it's, it's coming. Special Easter gift. <laughs> That's a word for you. Clap for him. <laughs> a mot visited was one of the early days of the members of worship house. Then the name was Angato Chasawa, Nangati Bible Gamba Mutia Mukama. We are Mutia Tarin and Munjuye. Anyway, shall we take 40 seconds clapping for online church? 
Upper Easter Online Church. I like you people to be excited because today every grave will open and every prison will open. Lift up your hands. By this time next year, if you are renting, that prison will be broken. By this time next year, if you are sick, you will be better in Jesus' name. Come and clap your hands this Easter. Amen. I'd like you guys to, to, I'd like to confirm a few more announcements. Number one, there will be a worship evening at Palm Paradise Gardens, Chiwatule. Chiwatule, as you go to Recreation Center near Sinabero Supermarket, Mpita Mwena Moje, Friday to Genoksula Muksaba, Chiwatule. Everyone, you're going to drive your car or get your border or, or whatever the way you can and come to Chiwatule, Palm Paradise Gardens. Please, it is near Snabber Supermarket. Tugenda take a year view, ma. Oksaba kuna kugenda kumele yo. Paka samu nano gwechiru. Hallelujah. Paka musamu, sorry, from 7 o'clock this Friday. I would also like you to know that we started a radio station, but it's just online. It's called Church Radio. Please download it. It's, uh, it will bless your life. Okay? Download the app. Yeah, it's just on your phones. Look at this, guys. We were finally able to raise the walls on this side because of your giving last Sunday. Are you a member? You should be happy. Come on, you should be happy. Can we see that wall? We should see that wall. So, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. for the wall. That's a very bad shot. You, you can zoom it out. It's better if you zoom it out. They do a lot of rubbish. You know, it doesn't come out well. You know, I want everyone to see the good work we've done. Yeah, I hope this is better now. Yeah. You you just zoomed it so in. It doesn't come. Okay. Yeah, at least that's the money we gave last Sunday. So in the same spirit, I want you to know, my neighbor, why you, that every time you do God's work, he will do your work. Fena trine banja we must build the church there are four I need ten people on this Easter to plant a seed for building the walls God is church we raise the walls I believe if we give some money this week by next Sunday this wall will be up we can do this. Amen. 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 The walls must be up. And my prayer is, May the Lord build your walls. Okay. So I need 10 people in this service with 100,000. Please stand up and give God a seed. And I will not say anything more until 10 people come and give something towards God's church. About So we raise the walls. Where are you, please? Ten people that can plant a seed. God bless you, sir. Go. God bless you, my sister. Eight people to go. God bless you, my sister. Keep clapping for these people. Uh huh. I need ten people. Keep standing. Keep standing. You guys come here. You walk here so you encourage others. Please come if you can give God a hundred thousand. Uh -huh. I just need ten people. Please walk. Keep clapping until they're here. It encourages them. Ten people. God bless you. Keep clapping. Keep clapping. God bless you. God bless you. I like your hair. Eh, mama. 
na isi chiviri. Uh huh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh huh. Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh huh. I need how many more? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three people. Three people. Three people. Please. We are a generous three people to join the seven, and the Lord will bless them. Three people. Baboli da nyomuntu ngalavi kainam na yenga teye nyenya magamba utuswazi zanya. Three people. I believe we can raise about about ten million today in each service. If if generous people, yes, God bless you. Thank you, my brother. I need two more people. Two more people. The uh, Gideon told me if they can get and Annie, are you here? And the treasurer, stand up. They told me they just need six million. If we can give them six million, they can raise the walls slightly higher. Nobody has Zimbabwe saying, Come Yes. Thank you, my sister. Please keep standing. You are encouraging others. I just need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One person. One generous person with a hundred thousand. God bless you so much. God bless you. God bless you. Now, may the Lord give me ten people with a mutual return. Yeah, ten people with a mutual return. Please join us. Now, the Bible says whatever you do, you do quick. To Zimbabwe, saying, give you a banange. God bless you. Keep coming. Keep clapping for them. Keep clapping. Yes, we will build God's church and the walls will be raised and blessings will follow you in Jesus' name. That is one, two. Eh? No, no, I don't want to add you. You guys come here. You guys come here. Come close here. Eh? Uh -huh. One, two, three. Yeah, good to see you, Mr. Lutaya. Uh -huh. Carol. Uh -huh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Young people giving to the Lord. God bless you. Uh -huh. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. How much? 50. God bless you. You're a beautiful lady. Yes. You just reply and say you're handsome too. God bless you. Uh -huh. God bless you. I say 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, with 15, with 50K. Now I need 10 people with 20k. 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 Come on, stand up. Stand up and give towards the walls. We will raise the walls. We will raise the walls. Amen. Uh -huh. 1, 2, 3, uh -huh. 4, 5. Now I need 10 people with 20k. Now I need 10 people with 20k. Now I need 10 people with 20k. God bless you so much. God bless you so much. I want to raise 10 million today in the four services. I'm praying that God will touch people in Jesus' name. And God will bless you. I think you are the smartest person of this service. Aren't you? Come here. Ah! This is now called designing. Isn't she smart? Why we go there? Why we go there? For Easter. For Easter, na yobi just general oriambala. Look at the bag. Look at the bag. Kachuki na neba mugami wayamba debichi otswaziza. Okay. Can I see those that have come for twenty k? Lift up your hand. Twenty k. I just want to make sure we are ten. Good. Like the ants build the ant hill, we shall build this church. Say amen. Okay, 10K. Please stand up. Ah. Please come. Mutualo Gumu, please stand up. Sister, what do you do? Now, this is called smartness. What's your name? Dumba.
Mugenda kumbaga oba mugira mucha. Mbaga ya Yesu. You are very smart. God bless you. Do you have girlfriends? You are seeing omuri nze nze fire omuri. Mola yen the smart. Uh huh. Omtwa logumu, please stand up with 10k. Join us. We are building the walls. We are building the walls. Yeah. Uh huh. But Bari Wanga, you are giving us 10,000. Please lift up your hand. 10,000. I want to make sure we are 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Mokwambala Kankuveko. Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. 5,000. Please stand up. Even if you don't come, stand up. Or oh, if you can, you can come. 5,000. We are building God's walls. I am such a very smart Christ. About my. Rachi will get to Mambalanga East. All right, people. With 5,000. Kachuki na neighbor Mugambo. Kaka Satoina Mutan. Oboli Mokodobu Koduji. Please stand up with 5,000. 5,000. We, we will build the walls. Yes, we will. The first service at 8 o'clock gave 1.7. So I will let you know how much we give today. 5,000. God bless you. God bless you. Okay. The widow's pesa. 2,000, 1,500, 3,000. Just immediately because we can't fit. Please stand up. Please stand up. Lift it up. Dear Lord, actually, let me do like I did in the first service. Stand up. Please. Let's make a deal. Tell God what you want by this time next Easter. That's my prayer. In your giving, please attach it to a prayer. And say, dear Lord, this is my prayer. That by this time next Easter, I will be among the givers, even on a higher level. In Jesus' name. Make a deal with the Holy Spirit. Make a deal with the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. And God's people said... Amen. Now you can plant your seed and go wait for your harvest. God bless you. If you need mobile money, it's right there. You can put full screen. My brother needs mobile money. Give full screen for the mobile money. Even the online church, you can be partakers of building God's church. Yeah, God bless you so much. 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 If your neighbor comes back and is seated to you, next to you, tell them, Kulikayonze, we have name you. We have a come. Be nice to them. God bless you. Today, everyone is dressed up. Vanang. He's risen. I think it's about desert chibo. God bless you so much. God bless you so much. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Can somebody let me know how much we've given for this service? So I let people know before the end of the service. For the building. God bless you so much. Actually, you guys can keep the mobile money numbers because you will need them. God's church is still under construction. It will come from this giving, from building God's church. That's the truth. Amen. From giving, but thank you. I think the numbers can get off now. God bless you. Let's take just 30 seconds clapping our hands to Jesus Christ. Now, today, somebody said today, today there, there's going to be an evening service where we are going to release God's power, 
musicians are going to sing. It's a celebration of resurrection. The bands are going to praise. We have a team visiting from Kigali, Rwanda, that very big choir. They are also coming tonight. And I'm going to come here and open people's graves and prisons in Jesus' name. In case you didn't know, somebody said prayer wave. Do, do it like this. Bojamu Church of Eden, nice. Nebobori Muzibu, you be nice. Uh -huh. There is a prayer. This prayer wave starts on Wednesday at Busabala Primary School. People who, lives, who live in Bunga, Gava, Monyonyo, Buziga, Kajansi, Gangu, uh, where? Uh, Entebbe, drive to Busabala Primary School every Wednesday. It starts at 7 p.m. all the way to 10. Then the prayer wave comes here at the worship house every Thursday. We need to clap for the kids' church that blessed us last Thursday with Drama and Becky and Steve. And then the prayer wave goes to Chiwatule. Chiwatule, Palm Paradise Gardens, near Snaberu Supermarket, every Friday, 7 to 10 p.m. Please tell somebody, join the prayer wave. Believers must take it beyond Sunday. Omolokole wa Sunday yeka atama. Takula. That's why I encourage you to join the prayer wave. Either every Thursday or every Wednesday Busabala Primary School or every Friday Chuatule Palm Gardens. And this Friday will be special. It will be the worship evening from 7 to 12 at Chuatule Palm Gardens. Now, I want us to clap our hands for 40 seconds receiving the word of God. Keep clapping. Keep clapping. Oh. When I was in Nigeria, I love, I love Nigeria fire. They are not boring, those guys. If you are in Nigeria, hi. I visited that church and the pastor was like, started the service singing a song. Ah, ah, you. Take it higher. Are you ready to receive his word? Then you say, I am ready to receive his word. I am ready to receive the living word of God. I am ready to receive. My sermon today is, did you know? Somebody said, did you know? Say it louder. Of course, the title is The Prison Breaker, but I want to simplify it by saying, did you know? Number one, I'm going to tell you like 10 or 12 of did you knows. Everybody shout it and say, did you know? You're going to say it louder so I know you are alive. Say, did you know? Number one, did you know that Jesus did not rise alone? Oh, I get a Nigerian hand clap now. Matthew 27 verses 53, 52. At the cross, the Bible says, and the graves of others, and bodies of many holy people, who had died were raised to life. Lift up your hand. If there is any grave you want to come out, be it financial, psychological, be it emotional, be it whatever grave, may the Lord open your grave. Let your amen reach the sky. Let your amen reach the sky. So Jesus Christ did not rise alone. He raised with others. Please, I'm not going to fight with you. Just lift up your hand and look at me. I stretch my hand and I pray today on resurrection power. May every grave that the devil. May the Lord open that grave in Jesus' name. If it is yours, say amen. I'll come back to that. Number two, did you know? That rocks were split. Thank you for clapping, my sister. 
you receive it in microseconds I continue I said Bible says and the rocks the rocks were split give me the verse when Jesus was on the cross at the moment the curtain of the temple was torn into two from the top to bottom the earth shook and the rocks were split because of time let me just pray for you lift up your hand whoever has a problem as hard as a rock whoever has a disease as hard as a rock whoever has an issue was may the good lord split your rock in jesus name receive it lift up your hand and look at me say amen May the Lord split every rock kind of problem. Easter means the rocks were split. But I need to see which Kalubangol was. May the Lord split it. Clap and say amen. Did you know that the curtains were torn? The curtain was torn. Give me the same verse. The Bible says, and the curtain that was in the temple when Jesus was on the cross the curtain of the temple was torn into two from the top to the bottom let me help you understand if you've been to an Anglican church or Catholic church do you know there is a place where only priests go yeah right they get it from the, the old days of the church there was a curtain Nemu Anglica, Nemba Catholic, Seba Wari Wabat of Jemuta Yingira, Faza Yakaya Yingirao. True or false? Reverend Yakaya Yingirao. Bonanza Makaranda Yakumpe Romuxa. True or false? It is called the Holy of Holies. And Nakus Novateka was just some something, some barrier. Back in the day, it was a curtain. Only the priest could go and go to God to talk to God. And he could come back with a do's and don'ts. The priest goes and talks to God into the curtain. It's called the Holy of Holies. Say Holy of Holies. Then the priest would come and say, the Lord has said we fast. The Lord has said we do this. And sometimes they could die from there. They could. In case you go there and go eat or to day, and you go to the Holy of Holies, you could die from there. Not so, Pastor Michael. You could. Actually, they could tie a rope on them. And enters and talks to God. You no longer need a prophet. You no longer need a pastor just to pray for you. Pastor Sabira, Pastor Ngana, Nabi Wange Ngambira Mukama. The curtain was torn. Everybody, come on in, come on in. The curtain was torn. Everybody now can talk to God. Why was the curtain torn? Because God wanted to be as accessible as MTN and Airtel. Even if you need airtime, you can go to the shop and buy credit. God wants to be closer to you. That is Easter. Number three. Did you know that his blood was shed for you? My neighbor, my kids recently called me and they said, Daddy, you need to see something. And then I went, not recently, about five years ago. If you are paying attention, wave to me. Wave to me. I don't want to lose anybody. Wave to me. Wave to me. Guys in the tent, wave to me. My kids came and said, Daddy, you need to see my neighbor, our neighbor. Our neighbor built a nice house, very nice flat. But then my kids found him. He cut the chicken head off and then the goat head off. And they were using that blood all over the house. Doing some lots of witchcraft. And my kids said, why, why, why is he doing that? I said, don't blame him. Somebody told him that blood can save him. That blood can give him hope and give him security and make his house to, to be safe. He just needs somebody to introduce to him the blood of Jesus Christ. 
Okay, lift up your hands. I don't have time. I cover your car in the blood. I cover your family in the blood. I cover your future in the blood. I cover your children in the blood. I cover your child in the blood. I cover this church in the blood. The blood of the Lamb that was shed for you. Come on, somebody say the blood. And it reaches to the highest mountains. Sing with me. It flows to the lowest valleys. Oh, the blood gives me strength from day to day. It will never lose its power. The blood does something else. The Bible says, Blessed is the man whose sin is forgiven and the Lord has covered it. But it is still there, just covered. That's the Old Testament. In the New Testament, the blood washes away. I repeat, may the blood wash away all your sins. Somebody say after me, say, did you know? Did you know that Jesus broke out of the most dangerous prison man has ever made? Because number one, he was dead. And the guards were put on his tomb. They even put a rock on his tomb. Dead. Omufu. Never take a kid ginger and city curry. Guess what? He still made it up. There are four. If Jesus can break out of that grave, you can break out of anything. If you're a Christian, let your hand clap be different. Baba Yesu yava muntane yo, nga kwali ke jinja, nga kuliko na basirikale. You can break that addiction. You can break that addiction. You can break out of anything. Did you know, somebody said, did you know that even in death, his enemies were still afraid? Have you ever been in a place where you are no longer a threat, but still people fear you? Have you been in a place where you are still not that a threat, but still people talk about you? To ina chuli, na yeba kugea, baku ugelira, baku fuma, chitegeza nemu mufumba tisa. Because sooner or later, something amazing will happen to you. Bwechiba chino chigambo, it should be different. I said, to ina chuli, na yeba kugea, baku wala, na baku loga. Because even in death, you scare somebody. Did you know? That Jesus went under the grave and he preached to those that had rejected Noah's ark. On earth is dead, under the earth is preaching. Because even in the grave, I said, even in the grave, did you know? Yesu kunguru mufu wansi alimu kumuri labo na waga no kuloko kukumulembe kwa nuwa that is first Peter chapter 3 verses 19 and Jesus Christ went through whom he also went and preached to the spirits in prison go ahead who disobeyed long ago when God waited patiently in the days of Noah? While the ark was being built, in it only a few people, eight in all, were saved through water. Jesus Christ, go back to the very first verse, 1 Peter 3, 19. I want you to see, because I have it, did you know here? Give me 19. Jesus Christ went and made sores in a prison. So did you know that not all souls rest in peace? Because these guys who rejected Noah, they are in the grave and they are tortured and tormented and they are locked up in a cell. 
the last 10 years, there is no funeral I've attended that the priest, pastor, reverend said that he's going to hell. Every funeral, the preachers tell us he's in a better place. Not all sorrows go in a better place. I come here every Sunday. You name to be a Nedekereza. Nadia got the new, Nadia got the Bemularu, Nadia got the Nayen Nin in Yahweh and Colin Sovi. I can't go to the same place with the Madara. I can't go to the same place with the cheat. I can't go to the same place. Kuanga Bamubaga no Kurokoka. See so much for Chechi Mu. Nayaga no Queni. These are guys in prison. So not all souls rest in peace. Oyo ye nakatemba kwe tuko la kurumbe ni tuwe changa, ni tuwe tovani, ni tu sabe sala, mukama, mukirize. Bobate wa lokoka. You are in a cell. In a fire. But look at Jesus. Jesus meets the guys in prison and tells them I'm here. Why didn't you go into the ark? And one of them said, you know, my Lord, I was a celebrity. There was no way I could go in the same ark with the pigs and the cows and snakes. I was a star. Then Jesus went to another cell. Why did you reject the ark? You know, my Lord, I was the member of parliament and I was a very big, rich man. I was big in business. I didn't have time. I was running business Monday to Monday, Monday to Monday. Sunday was my only day to see the saloon and to visit my mother. I never had time for Sunday. That's why I couldn't come. I was making a lot of money. And Jesus said, now look at you. You are locked up in hell and in fire. You, why didn't you come to the ark? You know, my Lord, I was too beautiful to settle. Everybody said I had a nice figure, nice face, and I had about six guys chasing me. I didn't have the time to sit in church. Now you ended up in hell. Why did you come to the ark? You know, Lord, I was so highly educated. And there is no way educated people could sit in the same boat with pigs and snakes and cows. Why did you come into the ark? Lord, you have no idea. I thought that thing was a joke. I never took it serious. People kept saying floods are coming. Floods are coming. For a hundred years. Lord, even if it were you. I took it as a joke. Actually, Lord, I was on a WhatsApp group that had a very big vibe and every weekend we had a plot. There is no way we had time because we needed to visit every club and we needed to visit every club and we needed to drink all the beer and the Lord you have no idea it was fun until the flood came and the Lord said here I am now I can save you and they said to the Lord my Lord I already missed the ark I missed it did you know I am the second ark. Uh oh, somebody's clapping. Did you know that Jesus Christ is the second in Noah's ark that you missed? The ark was to save people from the floods. Jesus is here to save people from the flood that is about to come. The flood, the hell. Come on, somebody clap your hands. And he's knocking. The ark was to save you from the flood. And Jesus is to save you from the flood. Because brothers and sisters, there is a flood coming. There is a flood coming. That day you will die in your casket. That will be a flood. You need to enter the ark. So did you know that Jesus Christ is that ark. Did you know? Clap your hands if you're here today. Did you know that people, soldiers were paid to lie that Jesus didn't rise? Bible says they gave them a lot of money. They gave them a lot of money to go and tell people that he did not rise. 
Matthew 28, 12, when the chief priests had met with the elders and devised a plan, they gave the soldiers a large sum of money and told them, please go. Tell the people that his disciples came in the night when we were sleeping, while we were asleep, and they stole his body. Now they are going to go telling people his reason. They gave them a lot of money, and luckily enough, our team caught them on camera. We caught them. They received a lot of money, and they took money. And they said, when the governor says what's going on, we shall handle the governor, the Bible says. Nguzi. The Bible says, and they gave people money. And if the report gets the governor, we will satisfy him. And he will keep you out of trouble. So they moved one by one. You know, we are sleeping. Nangi kubakumi. I want you to use common sense. The tomb was, was, was dubbed Romani Ame. Who can go to a property that has UPDF property? Who can go to a property that has Russian Ame? Who can go to a property that has American Ame? Yet these guys say that the disciples who were already mentally, psychologically beaten, their master was killed. That they stole the body. But did you know? Jesus didn't. Resurrection. The Jesus didn't die. Jesus didn't die. Jesus didn't die. Resurrection. The Jerusalem. Let worship house be filled with the testimonies. Did you know as I'm about to finish to start the other service? Did you know? That Jesus Christ is the firstborn in the resurrection. How many of you are the firstborn? Can your, your younger brother be firstborn? Talk to me. Can she be firstborn? Come on, talk to me. Can your young sister be firstborn? Because you are the firstborn, born, right? Sister Womu Tony Baba Yagala can never be firstborn, but she was born. So Jesus Christ, ye ya sokira dara okuzukira. Chitegeza, your brother who died in the Lord will rise. To Your mother who died in the Lord, to Jamulaba. Your father who died in the Lord, we shall see them again. And guess what? Even that day you shall die because Jesus is the number one firstborn. Now you shall rise from the dead. Everybody, chukra neighbor Mugambe, there is life after death. Did you know that not all graves opened? Give me that verse. The Bible says the graves of the saints. The graves of the saints opened up not all graves opened will your grave open because of time i'm gonna run these guys are slow did you know everybody said did you know did you find it they came out of the tombs and after jesus resurrection they appeared to many you are giving me the wrong verse i wanted the graves i need everybody shout it louder to remind the preacher say did you know Louder. I want you to know. I, I'm looking for what I didn't say. Yes. Yes. Did you know that Jesus said he will rise? Thank you. You guys today gave us 2 million point five. God bless you and open doors for you. Did you know that Jesus said he will rise? He said it, Uncle Justice. It wasn't accidental. He said it. 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 The Bible says he is risen as he. That's why I learned to say things. 
because someday somebody will say, I'm a zee, na kukorira darangabwe ya gamba. I'm a zee, mwami we na loko kangabwe ya gamba. I'm a zee, na afumbi luangabwe ya gamba. Said one of the members of the worship house who was carrying cargo with them at Entebbe Airport. Baba angaba situle migugu na ye, asabira wano. Ngabulika sera gama na yenze sija kuma kumigugu. Enyo nyinja jirinya. Ngaba musekerira. Because mubona ye yali asingo kufana nobubi. Ye yali asingo kukubele nasa na bambi. Mubona ye abanga taina transport. Nga alinde moto keziva kwa airport. Zimulete ko asevi nge samane. But she kept saying, I will be on an airplane one day. And I will not go in a very small country. So they came here in shock because that girl had boarded to America. As she said, this church will be done and it will be done soon. Opportunities will open up for you. Come and rise from your speech. You need to tell your last born, I will attend your wedding day. And you need to tell every curse, I will break you in the name of Jesus. And I'm not going to the grave when I'm young because Jesus said it. Two more, did you know that if Jesus didn't rise from the dead, our faith would be useless? The Bible says even our faith would be useless. Even our preaching would be useless. Did you know? Give me the verse. We are running out of time. Give it to me, brother. And if Jesus Christ has not been raised, our preaching is useless. And so is your faith. You should pack your things, your seer. Pick up your jitter. Next time I ask you, Good. I asked him after the first service, what did you learn? And he looked up. We are not in a show. It's not a club. It's a church. You must pay attention, brother. That's how you grow in the Lord. So did you know that our faith would be useless? You should pack up your guitars and your drums and your Bibles and go. Bible gamba. Even among all people, fetu batu inoku sasirwa. Because we believe in something not true. But Jesus Christ rose from the dead. How many? But you must be born again. And finally, did you know that even the worst sinner wants a cross on his grave? We got the picture of the worst sinner. Who died. I hope it's coming. O manyinti no mubi. Ne ya kujerega ngango jamu church. Na kusekele rango situ de Bible. She would like a cross on her tomb. Every sinner would like a cross on their tomb. Some friends who think Let me see your hand. Guess what? They too would like a cross on their grave. But I promise you, it can be on the grave, but the soul can be in prison. Today, may every prison you are in and every grave stand up on your feet and lift your hands up. Before you do that, clap for the word of God. Clap for the word of God. Lift up your hands. Tell God every prison you want to come out. Every prison. Are you depressed? Are you addicted? Are you single and it's sounding like a prison? You can't come out. Are you worried? Do you have bad dreams? Do you see spiritual husbands? Do you feel like you're about to die? You can bring the cross today. Did you know that project killing Jesus 
is, was the most unsuccessful project on the planet Earth because it still came out. Gamba mukama buli komedari ya galofam. Totia. Ovali ya mabanja. Ovali ya bupangis. Ovali ya abwez. Ovali ya malala. Ovali ya abusung. Ovali ya abunafu. Ovali ya abutasava. Ovali ya abutawachimucha kumi. Every prison. Ovali ya kufamu mbuto. Every prison. You can come out today. In the name of Jesus. Buli ya ine komedari mwari. Na buli intane kumize. Tukujaketaka. And we speak life into your life from today. Rise from every grave. Rise from every depression. Rise from every fear. Rise from every bondage. Rise from every chain. Lift up your hands. Say, I will rise. Louder say, I will rise. And people will say, He is blessed. He has overcome. As he said. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, if you're a sinner and you like the blood to wash you, today on Easter, you can give your life to Jesus. I'm going to count to three. Bobo ya gala kulokoka. Obali muloko inenga wada yoda. Ewa stan. This is the day. I count to three. You shoot up your hand. No matter what you've done, the blood was shed for you. You can break out of the prison of sin and Jesus will forgive you now. I count to three, you ashamed the devil. Shoot your hand up. One, two, three. You want to give your life to Jesus. Now, lift that hand up and walk here. Come. And come quick. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Kill up for these souls now. Come to Jesus. Somebody's knocking at your door. Walk the walk of victory. Everybody clap for these people. Somebody's knocking at your door. Oh, Sina, come on. Why don't you answer? Somebody's knocking at your door. It is the Noah's Ark that you rejected. Somebody's knocking at your door. Somebody's knocking at your door. Oh, Sina, why don't you answer? Somebody's knocking at your door. Did you know he is the Noah's Ark that you missed? And you can accept him today and will save you from the flood that is yet to come. Everybody touch your heart and say, Dear Lord, I am a sinner and I need a savior. I open the door of my heart. I am weak and I struggle with weaknesses. Give me your heart. And save me from the coming flood. Easter is for me. The cross is for me. The blood is for me. Today, I give you my heart. And when my time comes for me to die, I will tell the angels it was Easter 2022. I walked to the altar and asked God for mercy when I die let the angels take me home in Jesus name Amen watch pause clap for these brothers and sisters now listen to me Stay in God. It's not perfect. Even me, I'm not perfect. But at least I am in the law. Don't stay at home on Sunday. Come to church. Even these prayer altars, Wednesday, Busabala, if you are that side, Nansana, every Thursday, Friday, Chuatre. These altars are designed to help you 
keep your fire even in the week God bless you you've entered Noah's ark and you are saved from the flood now that day we shall put a cross on your grave at least we know where you are you are in the Lord congratulations lift up your hands God bless you and keep you may his face shine upon you may he open up every prison and open every grave he is the Noah's ark that is saving you not dying wash spouse live for many years to serve the Lord and God's children said now remember today at 7 p.m. there will be a powerful celebration and I'm going to pray and call God's power today and tomorrow Easter Monday God bless you have a good Easter God bless you. Is your brother or your sister or your child? Mugulide cake in a soda. Atebo akuma umuwe haga. Mugambe kulika stand and his demons. God bless you all. Thank you, Sharon, for being here. God bless you all. This is amazing grace. This is unfailing love. That you will take my place. That you will bear my cross. You lay down your life. That I will be set free. Oh, did I sing for all that you've done for me? This is amazing grace. This is amazing grace. This is unfailing love. That you would take my place, that you would bear my cross, that you would bear my cross. You lay down your life, that I would be set free. Oh, Jesus, I sing for all that you've done for me. What is the lamb who was slain? What is the king who conquered the grave? What is the lamb who was slain? What is the king who conquered the grave? What is the lamb who was slain? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for praying with us today here at the Worship House. And this service was designed to bless your life. And I hope that it has really blessed you. And next time that you're coming here, carry a brother, carry a sister, carry a cousin, carry your parents along with you. And let the anointing.